Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. We are so glad to have you with us today. Courtney just said to me right before we went live, ah, I was going to tell you something. So do you want to tell me now? I don't remember what it was, to okay. be totally honest with you. I do that all the time. Okay, well, if you think of it, let me know. And let the rest of us know, because I'll, we're I'll all let dying you know. to know. I, I just, things pop in and out of this brain. You know, I can't be responsible. But what I do know is we are starting out this Monday Right. This is sort of like a pre, pre, pre Valentine's Day cocktail mixed by Nate Raffel. You're going to meet him later. Cheers, I was say, by the way. Happy birthday. <laughs> See what I mean? Things just come into my head. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Cheers. Whose birthday is it? Oh, Va St. Valentine. Who? <laughs> so I have the swipe right which I'm guessing is some sort of dating app thing that you do, right? If you swipe the right kids, on a dating app, I that's think what that's you, you like? the good thing. That's the good thing. Is that right? Yeah. That's a hookup. Uh, everybody else oh, in the studio. Every, oh, yeah. They're all 20 years younger than we are. I think that's a hookup or something, right? Or maybe I'm not supposed to say that. That's not, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> oh, that's on Tinder. I don't know these things, but I'm going to tell you what I do. <laughs> <laughs> is this is Prosecco vodka, ginger mm -hmm. liqueur, very good for the digestion, lemon juice, and grenadine. <laughs> ginger. <laughs> I'm just enjoying my digestive juice this morning. <laughs> I don't think it's like supposed to be for digestion. Ginger is. Ginger is very good for the digestion. Cocktails. Folks, we're going to teach you how to make these. Mine is the Lovebird dark rum raspberry syrup lemon juice. Mm. It's very, very good. Oh. And by the way, I would like to point out, it's been, oh. I think, I think it's been a full two months or nearly two months since we have, has it not been? <laughs> Are you going to say that you haven't drank? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I was going to say. What calendar are you on? <laughs> no, since we've had a cocktail oh, segment on this yes, show. Yes, my love. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did you get any sleep this week? Yeah. Is that puppy keeping you awake? Oh. Why are you so punchy today? I don't know. Listen, I've been so sick all weekend. Um, I, and we didn't... <laughs> Why? Why is that funny? I'm sorry. That's not funny. It's not. Why is that funny? I'm sorry you're sick. <laughs> What is that? Why is that funny? No, so Courtney's had like a little bit of a dry cough. <laughs> I have. Like for real sick. For real. Um, I did go get the IV drip last week. It helped. It really did help. And I think it, it, it um, fast paced, whatever it was. But I've been left with sort of like this uh, pluggy ear, cloggy ear thing. And then like a tickle, this dry. Maybe I have kennel cough or something. <laughs> 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 the new dog Oscar is adorable, by he the way. Is. And He's... I guess he follows you around the house oh. all day and all night. All day and all night. Should I be touching your hands and wiping my eyes? I washed my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he's following you around. He is. He's super cute. He's had a few accidents in the house, but that was Orlando's fault. He totally wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it happened I thought on you were his... going to say that was Orlando. He's had a few accidents in the house, but that was Orlando. No. Now back to the Orlando dog. Orlando is totally potty trained. It's really great. Well, that's a good thing because a lot of men are not. Trust um, me, I've dated them. Remember Skidmark Jim? Yeah, not good as an adult. Not good. Um, but no, Oscar's doing great. I think I think he knows his name. I'm pretty sure he knows his name. Okay. So that's that's good. The name recognition. Um, but he's chewing, and you know, you walk by, and he in my pajama pants, and he just like <laughs> latches on and thinks it's a toy, and you know, it's there's there's <sighs> some learning curves here. Yeah, but so. it's, that's typical though. It's a puppy, and everyone always says, "Oh, if only our dog could be like Tex." Where is Tex today, by the way? I don't see him. Listen, he's at a spa somewhere. Tex it's is, still a weekend. Tex is busy preparing for a very special guest who's coming to Houston today, which I don't know if we can mention. So we'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, here's the thing: I want to know from all the animal lovers out there. Do I leave like the radio on or television on or put some music on for the dog while we're at work? Do they care? Do they not care? Like I find this like internal struggle when I leave like Yeah. Like he's so going to be lonely or something. Yeah. But dogs so, like to sleep though. 
If they he's do. in his little penned area. His little confinement and trap yeah, area. Yeah, he probably just like sleeps and naps. Why don't you talk to Stephanie Bennett at, I, at Believe in Dog? Yeah, you know, and she's she is my right hand person. We, we definitely are going to do the puppy boot camp and things like that. We've got to get a second round of shots before we can do any of that. So right now he's literally just confined in our house. What about the robot that fires trees? Okay, the dogs? so I'm going to order that. But are you? Yeah, but it's like um, the Furbo or something. Furbo, and it's this camera, and it and it. And it launches a treat. But right now, we're not really doing lots of treats, right? So, and I also don't want him pooping everywhere and eating, you know. I also think it's strange for the dog. I mean, I'm. what do I know about what it's like to be a dog? But I'm assuming that if you're talking to your dog through a camera, couldn't that potentially be confusing, yeah. right? If you're away and suddenly he hears your voice, and but then you're they not get excited, there, and, and then they get excited, they think you're home, especially when they're a puppy and you're yeah, trying to train so them. Yeah, so I don't want to, I don't want to get it just yet, you know. But I wish I did have a camera. But I really need to know if I need to like leave some music on or something. And is it hip hop? Is it jazz? Like what? What is it that I'm leaving on for the dog? Is he still sort of crying at night when you put him in the crate? It's like 30 seconds, and oh, then he's good. out like a light. I will say we're going to celebrate the successes. He is sleeping through the night. That's amazing. So, so that's good. We got we got one win. <laughs> I think you should bring little Oscar to the show. He's so adorable. I, I really want to, but here's the thing. Like, what if he poops or pees all over this building? So I mean, then, like, what am I going to do? Clean it up. Well, I mean, I already do that at home. This is a nice break right now that I don't have to. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm saying. So, you know, until he's kind of trained, I'm really a little nervous. You know, our office has carpet. I, I just... Okay. Well, when he's ready, bring him in. <sighs> and I'm going to bring mine in, too, because my new additions to the oh, family... Oh, I'm so happy they for you. They slept through the night. Not a peep. <laughs> Not, Not a, peep. a peep. They didn't make any messes. Nope. So I told you guys, over the weekend, I was flying solo because Brandon went up to Dallas with his mom. They did a little road trip, which was great, to see some family and hang out. So what did I do? Bought some plants. I bought some plants, right? What else what was does I one do? do? So I went over to the Floriculture, I which is on would Jimmy Rock. It. You knew I would love it. You were totally right. They were actually having a, a little pop-up for a local artist. It's called the AO Project. She was selling greeting cards there. But check out the plants they have in the store. I fell in love. I bought just a tiny little plant. It's a Thai constellation monstera. So it's a, a green plant that will have little white spots in it. I'll update you guys as that plant grows. But what I wasn't anticipating was oh. that I fell in love with this other plant. Uh-oh. Do you want to see it? This well, ginormous plant. So it's it's not that exact plant because they that plant is for sale, but I think Matt, the owner, will be heartbroken if that one sells. But it was a slightly smaller version of that plant. It's called an Evansai, a philodendron. And guys, it's so big. I, I swear it's eight feet wide and like six feet deep. Oh. It's very large. <laughs> it's very it's large. It's beautiful, though. It's like a mobile in a planter. <laughs> it's like the size of a baby grand piano in our living room. So You've always wanted a grand piano, so I've there you go. It's, and this is you pretty much just like a piano. But the different. music is silent. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. The air quality, the oxygen. I, but I we're think it's have great. To move, we're, I think we're going to have to move. You need a greenhouse, basically. We need a different house. And this weekend, I had this realization. I have become a carbon copy of my mother. It happens. Like, in the best possible it way. It happens. It's a huge compliment, right? But the older I get, the more I realize I am just like my mom. You know, there's that commercial. I don't know for what it is. Oh, it's, it's an the insurance, insurance company. And the guy's, like, showing up with the sweater and, turn, <laughs> you know, and then the woman's showing up and, like, you become your parents. It, yeah. it is so true. So true. And I remember as a kid thinking, <sighs> Mom, why do you have so many plants? I mean, my mom, it would take her hours to get around the house yeah. watering all her plants. And I'm pretty sure now we have even more than she does. But... 68? I don't... It's probably around 68. I think so. I think, I think it was 64 or 62. We have a bunch. I should do an official count. And that doesn't include the plants that are actually in the ground. I planted four rose bushes this weekend, That's too. That's awesome. One is called a Chicago tea rose. I know. I remember you telling me about that. I mean, I still have four plants that are barely hanging on. Hey, you can do it. And if you have a plant that's barely hanging on, go check out the Floriculture. Remember, they came on the show and we did those wreaths with the yeah. air plants. Oh, that one's still around. I haven't watered that, though. Is that bad? It's an air plant. You haven't watered it yet? <laughs> no. That was like a month ago we did that segment. I forgot. You're supposed to water, for the air plants, you're supposed to dunk them in water for an hour every week and then let them dry upside down. 
Well, I better get on that. <laughs> I haven't I haven't done a thing. But it's, it's still alive. It's outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's been human enough lately that I feel like it it probably enjoys the I'm surprised my Houston kids climate. actually make it out the door. Like literally, the way I I, I can't I know. Oh, come on. It's bad. You're doing just fine. Listen, the plant thing, I believe in you. Just keep talking to your plants, name them. A little bit of light, don't overwater, and you should be good to go. And if yeah. you have problems, go to the floral culture, explain, that, and Matt and Gemini will help you. They That uh, store is so beautiful, and I'm so glad that uh, you went and other people are checking it out um, because it it's so perfect. Right, and it's locally owned, and they're so passionate about it. But as soon, when, the day that I saw it, I was—I told you, I said, "There, you need to go to this place because it reminded me of you." You know what it reminds me of? If you ever travel to like a, a really big city like New York or San Francisco or LA, and they have a, like the hipster part of town and the cool plant shop, that's what the floriculture yeah. reminds me. It was a reminder to me of just how diverse our city is. Right. Because this is not just like a plant shop down the road. They have very carefully put this together and. It's right there on Chimney Rock, south of Westheimer, on mm -hmm. the west side of the road. You can also find them on Instagram and online. But it's like the flora, culture, floral, without the L on the end. So you you just like it hit the nail on the head when you said you're, you become more like your mom and growing up around her plants would take her out. I, we, I don't ever remember having a plant in my house. I mean, we're city <sighs> slickers, though. Like, I don't remember my mom, you know, did not... She worked three jobs, you yeah. know? I mean, there wasn't a lot of time. She wasn't out gardening. Right. So I don't, I don't ever, I mean, I think maybe we had one plant in our kitchen. It must have been like a macrame hanger. Like some oh, sort. I remember that. But here's the thing. I'm not sure it was real. <laughs> it may have been fake. I don't know. Is it still there? No, no, it's not. The fake plant died. Right, but no, what I'm saying is I, I really, I don't know if that was a real plant growing up, but I can still see the macrame hanger because it hung right by our avocado green telephone. That is, that That's is me classic. dialing, dialing the Do phone. you remember Rotary. Elvis had all avocado green? Have you guys ever been to Graceland and you do the house tour and whatever? They, Elvis's appliances were all avocado yeah. green. And I appreciate that so much because in our home in Salt Lake City, Ours were all harvest gold. Oh, and those the yeah. appliances with color, those are sort like of that like banana, coming back. the banana yellow color. Yeah, and right? they also had orange. I think orange was, was big, and my my mom's favorite color is orange. So let me tell you, avocado green and orange. That's what happened in our house. I think it's going to make a comeback. I think that macrame planter thing was orange, like a rust. Oh, pretty, beautiful. <laughs> So strange. Like, listen, everything old is new again, right? It all comes back around. So, I know. and when I was a kid, I thought, oh my gosh, harvest gold appliances. Why do we have these? And now, Brandon and I look through catalogs and we're like, wouldn't it be so cool to have just a totally white kitchen but with harvest gold appliances? Mm -hmm. One day, it's going to happen. Everything old is new. Well, around the water cooler today, if you're at the office, wherever you're watching the show, maybe you've been chatting with your friends or texting with them last night about the Oscars. I know it's a big deal. A lot of people love to watch the show. Did you watch? I did. I did watch, and I have to tell you, I was so excited about Eminem's performance. <laughs> I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I can't tell if you're joking right now. I'm not joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not. I, I had no idea he was performing with a symphony. Killed it. Wow. Came out, and it just, it, everybody in the audience, old, young, everybody was singing along with them. It was amazing. That's really cool. Yeah, I was I was thrilled for Parasite, cleaned up everything. Renee Zellweger, I thought, had a fantastic acceptance speech. Brad Pitt, amazing. Didn't understand Quist Kristen Wiig's dress at all. Oh, I, I thought think, it was so cool. No. Bright red and like really super wide down below. The whole thing, it was not, she's so beautiful. Her stylist should be. <gasps> oh, come no, on. I didn't like that at all. Hey, but you're talking about it, so that's the mark of success in my book. Well, listen, as Courtney just mentioned, so that film, the Korean film Parasite, it made movie history last night at the Academy Awards, but there are all kinds of Oscars highlights going viral right now on social media. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier has a breakdown of it all. Hey, Kevin. Derek and Courtney, it may be a wrap on the Oscars, but social media is still buzzing about the moments from Hollywood's biggest night and one of its biggest winners, Brad Pitt. And the Oscar goes to 
Brad Pitt. After earning his first Oscar for acting, Brad's heartfelt speech about his 30-plus year career had the internet buzzing. To all the wonderful people I've met along the way, to stand here now, once upon a time in Hollywood, I think that's the truth. Facebook's most trending moment goes to Eminem's surprise performance. It shocked the audience, too, except for Martin Scorsese, who looked like he was caught sleeping. Nobody more than us understands the importance of good, good visual effects. effects. Social media loved James Corden and Rebel Wilson's swipe at their box office bomb cats and Bong Joon-ho's big plans after winning Best Director. Thank you. I, I will drink until next morning. Thank you. <laughs> but Bong's best viral moment was after his history-making Best Picture win. The show tried to shorten his producer's speeches and cut the stage lights until the audience cheered to get them back on. It's a history, but I never intended it. I, we just made a movie, as always. Uh, so it just happened. Of course, we'll have more interviews with the winners tonight on ET. Plus, we're inside the after parties. We have all the red carpet moments and fashion. It really is just too much to list. Don't miss it. I'm Kevin Frazier. Back to you. Always a great wrap up. And Jane Fonda, by the way, rewore her dress that she wore a few years ago. And um, if you look on social media, you'll see. But I love her natural hair color. Me too. She's fantastic. She's Looked gone great. Fantastic. Isn't she 82 years old yes. now? Yeah. Jane Fonda is unstoppable. Yeah, but I love that she rewore a gown. I yeah, love it. Me too. It was sort of like when Olivia Newton John recently auctioned off some of her Grease attire, the yeah. costumes from the show, and she still fits in them. I know. Oof. What a legend. Love it. All right, why don't we take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. Don't go away. Cheers, my dear. Oh, cheers. up with you. Look at this. Hey, my glass is smaller. Know, but a reminder, we will be showing everyone how to make yeah. these. Well, we won't be showing. No, them. we're just going to listen. Mixologist <laughs> Nate will be showing you how. Do you go out for Valentine's Day? Do you ever do that? I'm wondering what people do, too, because typically they're like fixed menus at restaurants, and it's a Friday night this year. So We don't. We So I already have Brandon's Valentine's gift, and mm. do you not have Orlando's? No. We're not but I'm big, on it. I'm getting on it. We I don't promise. do. Typically, we're not big gift people because during the year, I think forced give giving or gift giving can right. be tough. But during the year, if we see something like, oh my gosh, Brandon would love that, then yeah. I'll buy it. It just so happens I found one of those things last week, and so that'll be his oh, gift. Oh, good. But okay. I find the whole restaurant thing kind of annoying because you go and you do the fixed menu. It's very expensive to right. eat out, and we. I guess the older I get, the more I appreciate just a nice meal at home. I know. And so we like to just cook at home yeah. and talk to each other. I know. I think what that's pretty much what we're going to do, too. And um, so these cocktails will come in handy because then you can surprise uh, your loved one or a galentine or something like that and make one of these drinks super fun. Have a little galentines at home in yes. case... What's so funny? Assuming you mix the cocktail well and it turns out well, oh. because my first date with Brandon, I actually mixed him a cocktail and it was he... Terrible. he like choked on it. It was so bad. What it was you so do? strong. Too much liquor. It or was what? just like straight vodka in a glass. I didn't What's know what wrong to with do. That? Guys, you no, know this. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Music to my ears. No, I'm just kidding. I'm oh, teasing. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. No, here's the thing. I think Nate, too, Nate tells you he's a great mixologist, so I don't think these are going to be anything super complicated. At the end of the day, though, pour a glass of wine if you're nervous about making a cocktail. And you can also do Uber Eats, too. Right. Will they mix it for you? <laughs> Not for the cocktails. For the food. I'm kidding. For the food part. I know. We actually did that last night, and it was so great. You know, on a rainy night, you just order in, and, and yeah. it's no problem. We did Instant Pot last night. How, we, Orlando. So right. how is the Instant Pot? Because that's one of those things. We just got a, a new food processor. Oh, I told you guys about this last week, so you know this. It's really big. It's the, like, 14-cup food processor. Right. And I love a food processor for meal prep and all of that, especially vegetables, because we try to eat. You know, we're vegetarian, right? We try to eat as many plant-based foods as we can. Right. But all that vegetable chopping it's a is time-consuming. And if you buy it already chopped, it's even more expensive. Oh, it's So ridiculous. it defeats the purpose, right? You, you buy a tiny little container. Of I know vegetables. It's like seven dollars. So we don't do that. We we go to Costco. Yeah. We get like a giant thing of organic carrots. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I, where I was going with well, that. Well, the instant but pot. The instant pot I is one of those things we haven't gotten because we don't want another gadget. Well, that's how I felt about this. But I have to tell you, every meal that he's made in there, 
has been great. So like what? Give me so an example. So last night, uh, he made ribs for the boys. It was from Costco. I didn't eat it. I, I made something else. But um, 15, 18 minutes or something, this huge slab of ribs, and then he, brought, he basted the... Um, Texas Q barbecue sauce and broiled it in the oven and it got real crispy and the boys devoured it. It That's literally so was 15 minutes. So instead of putting something in a crock pot, like you could have done the ribs in a crock pot for hours. Hours and hours and hours. It yes. cuts it down. Yes. What about like spaghetti squash? Because that's a good yes. one too. It takes forever sweet potatoes, to bake. potatoes, spaghetti squash, I mean everything. How long does it take to do sweet potatoes? He did risotto in there too. How long did that take? Well, I, I think it was 18 minutes. Wow. It, craziness, yeah. And even, you know, so on the crock pot thing, the, if you're doing some sort of meat, typically you're browning it or you're doing something else or maybe you're roasting something, you're dirtying other pans and then you're putting it into the crock pot, right? Yeah. You're sauteing something. This is one pot shopping, P cooking, one pot cooking. You can saute it, then you put the lid on and do all this stuff. Okay, I think you've sold me because a I couple weeks ago, I thought I was gonna make this delicious vegetable stew. Made dinner, went grocery shopping. Yeah. It started at like 6 p.m. Dinner wasn't ready until 9.30. It was like midnight. Because yeah. the vegetables were not They're done. They're still hard. They were still, you want your get, carrots to be nice and. Get it, you need to get it. Okay. It's really good. Maybe we could do a little cooking segment with your husband. Courtney's husband is such a fantastic cook. He is. And he does, he's one of these people who can make a fresh homemade salsa, no big deal, no recipe. It's just all stored uh -huh. up here. He's a very, very good cook. He just gets nervous. He doesn't want to come on the show. Isn't that funny? Brandon d didn't either until that day he came on. And now yeah. he's like, when am I coming back on the show? When When's am I the next back? opening? I know, I know. But that's okay. We'll do something. Maybe we'll do like an in-home thing and we could do a little cooking segment. An in-home segment? Yeah. Live from Courtney and Orlando's? <laughs> hey, I would be down with that. So let's talk about some vacation deals because okay. this is something we're going to do all week long on the show. And a lot of times, have you ever gone on vacation and after the vacation you need a, need vacation, a vacation from the vacation? Yes. So even if it's a quick weekend getaway, we found... Oh my gosh, if it's even if it's a road trip or airports and all of that, yeah, we all love a vacation, but maybe we don't love the hassles of those things. So folks, how about a staycation? And um, this is fantastic. All week long, we've got ways to help you save, kicking off our week of travel deals, starting with, get this, Courtney, you're gonna love this, a spa day. Yes. Downtown Houston, Hotel Alessandra, it's absolutely beautiful. Love that they hotel. have this killer deal on a massage and a facial, and it even includes a nice little glass of bubbly and access to that sparkling pool right there. Love it. Yeah, and it's it's a super good deal, so stick around because our friend Gabe Saglier with Travel Zoo, he's going to break it all down for us. And we've been teasing you throughout the day with our cocktails. Well, we have mixologist Nate in the house. He's going to show us how to sip the night away with your sweetheart, mixing two boozy Valentine's Day drinks, delicious, and he says easy to make for an unforgettable evening with your loved one. Oh, and by the way, nice. Lauren Kelly is hanging out on the court today with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. They're in town for some special shows this weekend. We love the Globetrotters so much. And Lauren, it looks like you're hanging out with a couple of our favorites right now. I am, and they're giving me lessons on what to do. A little bit later on in the show, I'm gonna show you my skills or lack of on the court. We'll be right back with more Houston Life. Houston Life? Welcome back. If you have tried a number of diet plans and workouts and are still struggling to lose weight, it may be time to try a new approach. And there's good news. A local company promises to help you lose the extra pounds fast. Here with all the details, the CEO of Innovative Lasers of Houston, Laura Alexis. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having us. Great to see you. Thank you. So I see that we have some props here. Let's first talk about how your system works before we get into the specifics of each machine. Okay. Um, one of the first things that we do when our patients come in is that we offer a free consultation. So it's a customized program. What works for you is not going to work for your best friend, for example. So based on the patient's goals and target areas, we'll determine how many sessions to, to prescribe to them. And that's just it. You walk in the door, you have your one-on-one -on -one consultation, figure out where your pitfalls, what's not working for you, where you want to be at the end of your weight loss journey, which I think is really important. It's not just one plan fits all. Correct. Right. 
Okay, well, let's talk about the Zerona laser and how it works. We are looking at some video there, and we see it that it's placed on the body. This is what we see and talk about all the time. This is the Zerona laser. This is it here. So the laser itself can, uh, because it has five arms, we mm -hmm. can meticulously angle it in different target areas and be as creative as we'd like. Um, the laser itself creates tiny microscopic tears into the fat cells. When that happens, the content of the fat cell naturally seep out through bodily fluids such as urine and sweat, and the magic begins. The shriek, the, the inch loss continues. And we're looking at some animation here, and then talk about this slide, Laura, because I think this is really important when basically we're looking at zero minutes, and that's basically what our fat cells look like before we do anything. Right. This is the microscopic image of what happens undergoing treatment. At zero minutes, as you can see, the top slide is plump. Mm -hmm. Before a 20-minute session is done, the fat cell has already collapsed, and all you're left with is just that shell. And that's how we experience the inch loss. We guarantee 3 to 11 inches in just two weeks. And if I, uh, if I may, let me invite you to put your hand underneath the laser. Yeah. Oh, don't scare me. <laughs> I'm always jumpy. You know that. I'm just kidding. No, you don't, you don't feel anything at No, all. no, there's right. nothing. Even though I can see that the light is on here, and you see that my red, the red no right. uh, color there And that's the what the patients experience. Okay. Absolutely nothing. No downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. And there's no, um, it's non-invasive. You right. are laying here, as you saw in the video, or what this is on, this is what happens. Right. Okay, let's talk about this laser here behind you. This is still a Zerona laser, but this one's a little bit different just for the body part, right? Right. This particular laser is used uh, specifically for the arm. So okay. I've never seen some patients that have really loose skin. Yeah. Really, so the laser itself, actually on both models, stimulate collagen. So you can just imagine using this particular laser in the arm area, it not only emulsifies the fat cells, which means it shrinks it, but it stimulates the collagen in that area. So the skin actually retracts. Beautiful concept. Absolutely. And this is like, let, let's talk about this video, Laura, because I think when we're talking about getting rid of fat, that is people's number one sort of, it just doesn't go away very easily. It's one of the things that it's like, well, it's fat. What am I going to do with it? Right. Cut it away? Yeah. I know it does sound too good to be true, but these lasers itself, that's why Dr. Oz calls it the miracle procedure. The, the, the lasers are FDA approved, the results are immediate, and this is what makes us different than anybody else. And besides the fact, now we're looking at before and after. These are some of the clients that have come through your doors, success stories, some of these people you've actually heard from yourself here on Houston Life, who have gone through the process, have been yo-yo dieting in and out of diets and plans, including you, Laura. Yes. You were actually a client. That's right. That's, that's actually my before and after pictures, and that's shortly after I had twins and then two boys back to back. So you thought, too, at the moment before you heard about this, though, you thought, mm, too good to be true. Yeah, of course. I mean, come on. Viewers right now are probably listening, being skeptical of themselves, because it is a procedure that sounds too good to be true. Come on. You're going to get underneath the laser and get skinny, and you don't feel anything? But I offer it, you know, please just give us a call. Free consultation. We'll tell you more about it. Absolutely. And I know that we probably enticed you as well at home. And let's talk about the special offer that you have for our viewers today. Sure. Typically, our transformation package is $2,400. However, for viewers now, it's half off. And if you're one of the first 100 callers, we will even throw in an additional three sessions for free. And the number to do that is 281-888-3094. To get in on this special offer, you can also go online to schedule that free consultation at InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com. And by the way, this is a customized weight loss program with the Zerona laser system that we talked about today. And you have all these locations all over the city as well. Yes, and we're continuing to grow. We even, we're even having another location that we just opened up in Dallas. Oh, congratulations. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Again, that number to call is 281-888-3094 or InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com to schedule online. Laura, always great to see you. Thank you for having us. And we'll be right back.
Hey, welcome back to Houston Life, everyone. It's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Getting a little soggy out there in some spots. Notice we're starting to see some afternoon flare-ups. Nothing severe, and I've got the lightning turned on, but you notice there is no lightning out there. Uh, but still, if you are working in some areas, especially in, let's say, Conroe, Montgomery, a pretty good line of some uh, quick-moving downpours. These are probably dropping a half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain, but that's about it. And we are going to see more of this throughout the day. Here's part of the problem is that we've got a cold front that's stuck between here and Dallas. Heavy rain expected all the way across back in towards the deep south and look at all the snow as you get up and towards the panhandle so that's where the cold air is kind of bottled up interestingly enough it's 58 in Bryan College Station it's 76 down in Navasota so there's the front now this front is slowly going to try to sag southward this evening as it does should slowly start to cool everybody down as we go into the overnight hours and tomorrow the question is how far south does this get I don't necessarily know that it's going to make it too far south it doesn't really matter because even if we cool down for early tomorrow morning we're going to see it lift back as a warm front, and that'll get us back up into the mid-60s. Messy weather expected on Wednesday as well, but we should clear out just in time for Thursday, and of course, for Valentine's Day as well. No excuses, fellas. Can't say that the rain's gonna ruin your plans. <laughs>If you're staying in town this spring break but still want to have some fun without overspending, our next guest is here to help us save. That's right. Senior editor of Travel Zoo, Gabe Saglier, is joining us now in studio with all the info. Yeah, because you we doing? want to get away, but we don't want um, the timing or cost to get in the way of unplugging, even if it's for half a day. No. And it's also nice to avoid getting on an airplane because yeah. when you can stay close to home, fewer headaches, yeah, right? Yeah, you just yep. don't have the stress of it. You don't need the mask. That you That's gotta right. kind of, it's almost required, <laughs> it's required garb now when you go to an airport, uh, which is probably a smart thing to do now. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so I'm a big fan of the staycation. And of course, you know, Houston, it's just, it's teeming with fantastic places to do, cultural things to do, spas and restaurants. So uh, I picked a couple of things just to keep put on the calendar. Um, how about a spa day uh, at the uh, Hotel Alessandro, oh one of the gosh. newer hotels yeah. in Houston, opened up in 2017. Yeah, sort of a little oasis. Uh, and the spa there is sort of an urban sanctuary, if you will. The neat thing is that you, when you do a, a treatment there, you get full access to this rooftop pool which does have bar service uh, and uh, you can kind of make a half day make, make, make a whole day out of it now uh, travel zoo exclusive pricing on treatments about starting at about $95 per treatment but I like the 199 deal because you get both the 60-minute massage and the 60-minute facial. Uh, plus, you get valet parking, access to the pool. You get a glass or two of bubbly. Yeah, you make a whole day out of it. Oh, I'm wow. in. Oh, yeah, that saves you awesome. almost 50% on what it, uh, would be otherwise. It's almost like buy one get one because even a massage alone at a nice hotel yeah. easily is more than 100. How do people get the deal though? So this is uh, one of our travels to local deals. So you know our members here in, in, in Houston get the free uh, email every uh, Wednesday morning. And if you go on our website, you look for Houston spas. Uh, this this deal. Will, will come up. And if you remember, and all it takes is a free sign up, you get access to uh, to that rate. Okay, there's I'm going to so do that. Yeah, yeah, there's so many great things. And this is so great, too, even if you want to go with a girlfriend or yeah. loved one, whatever. And, and, and I'm all about the twofer because I've done a facial, but then you're leaving and you're looking back at people about to get a massage. And you're like, And you oh. wish that was you. So just do them both. You yeah. really treat yourself to both. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so next time you're going to do that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and a couple of, we also got tickets for a couple of great upcoming shows. Uh, the Harlem Globetrotters Love are on a world tour. It's the Pushing the Limits world tour. Oh, they're so fun. Yeah, they're coming to the University of Houston President's Day weekend right after Valentine's Day. So the 15th, 16th, we've got discounted tickets by 40% starting at about 27 bucks a pop. That's and it's great. such a feel-good show, too. You're yeah. going to walk out of that arena feeling A lot of so glad you went. I can't do anything that it comes even close. It's just a marvelous Gabe, thing. Gabe, you could do it. I, it just I don't have the, the patience. There's no way I've, try, I've done it. My finger doesn't have the <laughs> the gravitational pull to keep that ball on uh, spin it away. Oh. Uh, and the Doobie Brothers, a four-time Grammy-winning Doobies, they just got invited to the uh, invited in, 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 uh, initiated into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So great. They're, believe it or not, they're on their 50th anniversary wow. tour. I mean, these guys started singing when they were what, like in their teens, um, and they're coming to uh, the Woodlands October 10th. We're working with Live Nation with discounted tickets by 50% starting oh, that's at great. twenty dollars uh, each. So if you're a Doobie Brothers fan, that's going to be worth doing because I can sing along to about 60% of their of their. Oh, tunes. yeah, you yeah. will know more songs than you even realize. Yeah, absolutely, Classics yeah. there. All right, so Gabe, today's uh, segment was just the beginning. I understand you're going to be joining us all week with a special deal every single day. Yeah, we're going to be taking a look at Texas getaways tomorrow. Then we'll kind of go from there. We'll go domestic, we'll go international, we'll go tropical. It's worth tuning in every single day this week. I love it. You're always yeah. the guy that knows how to save us money, where to go. 
fantastic. Great to see you. Yeah, I see you at the too, spa, babe. right? I oh know. my gosh! Between I, between the, 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 the facial and the massage. Okay. Yes. We'll hang out. Need for a glass of bubbly. Yeah, a little bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> I it's think we date. should do these segments on the road next time. That's what just saying. That's what just throwing really that out there. That would be fine. Man, great to see you. Thank you so much. Renters insurance can be. For 93 years, the Harlem Globetrotters have been bringing entertainment and basketball to your family and friends. And guess what? I'm here with them today for year 94. I've got Zeus McClurkin forward, Sweet Lou 2 Dunbar, he's a forward, and Lucky Zhang, he is the very first Chinese player in all of the Globetrotter history. You are the guard. Hi, Lucky, how are you? <laughs> I think the one thing that I'm missing, you guys, is just the height. What do you think? Uh, just drink some milk. You'll grow. <laughs> That's what my mom said. Secret. All right, so Zeus, we're going to see you guys in town this weekend at the Fertitta Center. That's at U of H, and the ticket information is on our website. We've got it at HoustonLife.tv. Are you excited for the show? We can't wait. This is a huge show this year. This year is our Pushing the Limits World Tour, so we're looking to do things to a whole nother level this year. We're playing with a glow-in-the-dark basketball at the beginning, and we're going to be featuring one of our new rookies, Lucky. He's going to be playing at that game, and you're going to see us attempting a world record live. The furthest blindfolded hook shot live at the game. Well, you guys are already holders of like 21 world records. Right. You're going to go for number 22? <laughs> We're going for all of them. We're going for all of them. <laughs> now, Lou, your dad is head coach. He's a legend Harlem Globetrotter. Right, right. Is he come out and like, when he's there, do you get a little nervous? Like, oh, dad's watching. You know, I don't get nervous. It, it makes me want to play harder. Does he make you do push-ups when you get something wrong? <laughs> you know, I've always kind of been self-disciplined, but, you know, he likes to, uh, I guess you could say, uh, better me in some ways. He likes to push your limits. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's give the audience a little bit of a sneak peek, a little tricks to what they can see this weekend, yeah? Yep. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Let's do a little bit of magic circle. Yeah, a little bit of magic And Sunday at the Fertitta Center. That's at U of H. All the information is online at yeah. HoustonLife.tv. Y'all, I'm out of breath. How do you do this for the entire show? It's amazing. I mean, we're playing 320 games this year in 260 cities. And you guys can see footage of us doing some amazing stuff. If you go to HarlemGlobeTrotters.com, you'll see our trick shots. You'll see Lucky doing some amazing things. Also, he's got a cool little two ba basketball and even three basketball uh, trick that he can do. It's pretty cool. How many hours do you guys practice a day? Uh, about two hours before each game. So every single game that we play, we're getting to the gym two hours before and having fun while we practice. Yeah, it looks like a, a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always, always. Always is. Always is. Yep. Well, the Harlem Globetrotters, I'm so excited. It's such a family-friendly event. I want to thank our friends here at the Telepson Family YMCA downtown for letting us use their beautiful court. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to go put my jersey on, and I'm going to get ready to, to you know, okay. do a little bit of this myself. Ready? No, Left-handed. One shot. Believe in yourself. Oh, I'll keep believing, and I'll keep practicing. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more Houston Live coming up next. <laughs> Forget the long lines this Valentine's Day. Why not spend a romantic night with your special someone inside? Sounds good to me. Mixologist Nate Raffel is here to show us how to mix up two flirty cocktails to help us set the mood for a lovely Valentine's evening. Welcome back to the show. It's been a minute since we've seen you, Nate. It has been. It's good to be here. Ten years, by the way, of experience in the food and beverage industry. If Nate looks familiar, you've probably seen him around town. Lalo, 8-Row Flint, Julep. So... 
You've left all that behind to come here to Houston Life today. Yes, that's right. I'm making a couple of uh, Valentine's Day cocktails, Galentine's Day, whatever you have you. Um, one with Grey Goose. This is going to be a little bit more light and refreshing. Of course, everybody knows Grey Goose, uh, iconic single origin vodka. And then here I have a dark rum, which is really trending amongst uh, bartenders nowadays. Yeah. It's not just for tiki. It's um, 1796 Santa Teresa is actually uh, a bourbon, a whiskey person's uh, uh, type of rum because it's aged four to 35 years in bourbon barrels. Whoa. So, oh, wow. So it's really great. It's going to be a really good baseline for these cocktails. Okay, so this one you're going to start making. This is the swipe right. This is what I the had at the had, top yeah. of the show. It was very good. And you said anybody can really make this, right? Absolutely. These are all um, easy ingredients to source. I just always suggest, though, that you try to get the best of the best ingredients okay. and ingredients. use, of course, fresh juices. So you're doing vodka, lemon juice, a ginger liqueur. Absolutely. And this is a homemade grenadine, okay. which you don't necessarily have to, you know, be nerdy like me and make your own grenadine. I don't think that's nerdy uh, at all. I think that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, you can actually get a really good one over the counter, but you just want to stay away from the ones that are just kind of like nuclear red and just don't look Yeah, natural. like the high sugar content, Absolutely. right? Because that's fresh pomegranate juice in there. Oh, so. wonderful. Really, really tasty stuff. So fancy. And I can see that you also have some fresh pomegranate seeds on the side. You'll save Absolutely. those to use as garnish. Absolutely. We drink with our eyes, so you want that drink to look as good as possible. Okay, we're going to pour both of these drinks at the same time, but we're mixing the second one. This is the one you had, the Lovebird. The Lovebird, Absolutely. and that's what you use the dark rum with, right? So here. I would say this would be more of a uh, after-dinner type cocktail. Okay. There's a little bit of white chocolate in here. It did uh, have a sweeter raspberry. taste to it. Yeah, so I would say that's kind of like the uh, aphrodisiac to get you ready for the rest of the evening, you know, oh, with your hey. significant I other. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I mean, right now. you know. That raspberry syrup, what's the deal with that? Is that something that we can buy, or do you recommend making um, that? You can actually buy this off the uh, shelf as well, too. I, there's some great quality syrups on the shelves now, Specs or Goody Goody or wherever you like to go. Yeah, um, and the Specs, they're always so helpful there. Absolutely. I love that spot. So, yeah, there's, there's quality ones, but you can always make it yourself if you are nerdy like me. It's not nerdy, Nate. <laughs> when you're good at something, that's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. not nerdy. All right. I'm going to put you two to work. Okay. You're going to help me shake here. Oh, that I can do. Cool. Very nice. I'm sure you guys have had somebody else on the show. <laughs> and you're just <laughs> using just Thanks. like a regular uh, cubed ice here, right? Yes, I'm you using the regular. This is, this is from the gas station, actually. Oh, but, nice. uh, okay. Yeah, you could use whatever ice. I mean, honestly, if you're using quality ingredients, I mean, if you give it a good shake, I think uh, every, you know, the drink should come out pretty well. Okay. So make sure that's locked so you don't. Oh, man. So you don't have any it. incidents here. Does anyone <laughs> okay. want to go, go for it? All right. Hands right there. Let's take it. Nice. Yeah. You have done this before, huh? All right. Did you say it is? She does every morning. <laughs> My alarm clock. Sound of her alarm clock. Oh, there you go. I don't know. Amazing. I'll get that. Okay. Station. No worries. So the, the right. trick to getting that off is just tapping yeah, it Yeah, there's the a side. little sweet spot there. You just tap that, oh. and it, you got to give it a little elbow grease. Okay, right. so now we're pouring. Just pour that in. Actually, I'm going to double strain. Look at that. Yeah. Real pretty colors, it huh? It is. It's beautiful. Perfect red, pinkish red. Okay. Cool. And then Why the did finish... you strain yours like that? So there is a little bit of egg white in this cocktail, so you want to uh, kind of strain that through. You don't want any ice chips in there on top, sitting on top as well either. Okay. okay. So I double strained it. While this one is going on the rocks, so it doesn't really matter if there's any ice chips or anything like that. We want this to be smooth and velvety as possible. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm going to pour a little bit of Prosecco. So that Prosecco, if you're having this before your meal or wherever you're at, it's really light and refreshing. No wonder you loved that one, Courtney. Absolutely. No. And there come the fresh pomegranate seeds. I Just noticed on my card that with the other cocktail, the Lovebird, you use a dehydrated raspberry powder to yes. garnish? What is that? So that... Um Actually, I don't have to I have fresh raspberries, <laughs> but okay. you can always just dehydrate some raspberries and they break up very easily. Okay. Um, either using a dehydrator or even your own oven at home. That you sounds so fancy. And is that just for looks or does that add to the flavor? Um, it adds to the flavor and the aroma as well, too. Mm. So I'm just zesting a, a few lemons on top just to give it a little bit more of an aroma. Okay. Look at that. And then 
The swipe right is going to get a little edible flower. A little marigold on top. On top. Well, cute so that is. Pretty. It really is amazing get... how a nice garnish on a drink. And even mm. if you're making mocktails at home, a nice little garnish really puts it over the top. There. there we go. There it is. Okay, D, you chase this one this time. <laughs> All right. We're, we're switching we're off. Switching switch cocktails. Yes. There we go. This is awesome, Nate. Thank you so much. Amazing. And I feel like yeah. this is easy. We can redo this at home. Absolutely. Absolutely. And make it your own. I mean, with Grey Goose, mm. uh, it's perfect for any occasion, uh, any time of day. So, I mean, you can put any kind of garnishes in there and mix it up however this you like. This is right. so good. Like a little chocolate. I, Mine is I would have never guessed. Yeah, Absolutely. that's perfect. Nate, I'll take two of these. I know. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. By the way, to see the recipes, just visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, and let us know if you make them and how you like them. Yeah, take pictures. Send them our way. We'll be right back. Cheers. This is really good. It's cheers. So good. And cheers to you. Okay, coming up tomorrow, we have hairstyling tips, struggling with hairstyling. We're going to show you three different hair tools to master. <gasps> the perfect beach wave, curling iron, flat iron, and what I use, the wand. And by the way, this is a great segment for it men is. as well, because if you have wives and daughters and yes. all of that... You got to know how to you help You got to get the knowledge. Also, Urban Harvest. I can't believe it's that time of year. I love this event. Lauren Kelly is live at Urban Harvest Teaching Garden, promoting their upcoming 20th annual fruit tree sale. Guys, it is the largest single-day sale in the entire United States, discussing the benefits of having a fruit tree in your backyard. We have kumquats, mandarins, lemon trees, Fantastic. olive trees we've purchased from this sale. And also the folks at Urban Harvest, they have a million, million pieces of advice for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. They're great. It's a great resource in our city. By the way, earlier today I was talking about should I leave music on for a dog? Sue says that she uses a device called an I Calm Dog that plays classical piano music. That sounds so I great. I need more info. You should try that. Someone said reggae.